Hey folks, how you all doing? I am Con Ulrich. And I'm Rang Roo. Hello, hello, hello. And we are back. It's Thursday. It's time for the European Veteran Division of the Steel Division Season 2 League. And on, was it Colville, I want to say today, Rang, right? Yes, this is Colville. All right, so who do we have duking it out? Well, on the left-hand side in blue, we have our Sir Robert as the Polish Armoured Division. And on the right-hand side, we have ourselves Caddy Lacor as the first Fauci division. Now, one thing I'm disappointed at already is we're not seeing an L6 all in on one of these roads. <laughs> yeah, he has two L6s. So that's like a, it's it's still sort a of pretty ballsy move, but I, I I would love to see the uh, Corbell trademark just five L6s, one flank, double or nothing. Exactly. I mean, that's that's the meme machine. That's the dream. <laughs> yeah, that's the meme dream machine. I want to know if the match can be run in either 30 seconds or, you know... Um, 30 minutes. It's either you... 30 minutes. <laughs> you, 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 either, you... I either win now or I lose. That's a plan. Exactly, exactly. You come back with your tank or on it or something yeah. like that, I guess. And a very, very early Oster coming on in. So, um... Ooh. I won't say it's a standard thing these days, but I kind of feel like a lot of poles, that's the early standard for poles. You bring out a very, you know, mixed bag, and then you bring in that recon plane. Yeah, I, I really like seeing that recon plane a lot, because it can do a lot of work. Especially against third Falchiger. I mean, because I don't really have much in terms of AA early on, so you can mm -hmm. easily fly around and, you know, Hey, look chaps, there's guys over the air, you should shoot them. Those now the one thing are... I don't like about this early bringing is that there's a uh, two-inch mortar. And I think we've talked about the whole idea that really... Yeah. There's a lot of mobility, and I realize it's not much in terms of RT, RDO and the you know the early game for the poles, but just I think the points would be better spent. Yeah, it's it's only really I'd say the two inch mortar is only really good in town fights because it can mm -hmm. just stun up everything really quickly. It's really good at yeah, but in this more open area like Ray's deploying it, I, I mean I mean you can kind of shoot up north, which is actually pretty good considering how close the Cathy Lackles have as foul shakers. Schaffschützen. This is that's that's actually really surprising. We almost never yeah. see these guys, but that's brilliant. Yeah. Um, and yep, there comes that mortar. So they need to move right now, otherwise they're going to be dead. Yeah. It's also really weird bringing out the mortar for poses. You, you have sextons in a phase as polis. You just he use sextons instead. Mm -hmm. I mean, they're more expensive, of course, but it's a bloody sexton. You can't go wrong with that. And first reinforcement ticket buys a hurricane. Yep. And the yeah. first reinforcement take you by is anti-air. <laughs> yeah. I can understand the pole. The Polish hurricane play is is it's on point. It's mm -hmm. Also on point is down south. Panzer oh, wow. is pushing through, and there's no it's, it's the the command infantry of the Piats, but that's really it. And the, par the hurricanes could I see do a pretty good job stopping his forcer, I'd say. That is very true. Where's that cool yeah. going? Okay, so anti-air is going back to the center, and the mortar is now shelling down to the south. Maybe he was sacking the sexton early, so that one, maybe he's bringing the mortar in because he had to sack the, the sexton to bring in the. Yeah, like it's definitely a point. Uh, it's definitely a point move. And geez, it's just constant airplanes. Yeah, the hurricanes are like that's so bloody good for pills. Like, I mean, they're, they're almost like an airborne division, just how good those hurricanes can be. And it's definitely going to be in Cadillac or best interest, preferably as soon as possible, to get some anti air out. He's getting a uh, single Trinity mill up north, I believe. I think it's really just a scan ray, the uh, recon plane. But honestly, that, that, that could be enough. Oh, and the mortar hat track's going to go down here. We The, the L6s, they're flanking like crazy. Yeah, jeez. That's really good. That's a really good flank. And I love the thing about the Panzer L6 is it can fire its main gun while on the move. So. Yes. Well, it's, like an, it's an autocannon, isn't it? It's right? an autocannon, yeah. It's, it's an Italian autocannon, so it's really good. And that's, that's not a joke. Yep. It's one thing that's surprising to say about those L6s is that, um, well, the Italians know how to make a nice engine. Yeah, you know, yeah. Past that, I can't say a whole lot about other things here, but... Um, and the hurricane gets shoved off. There we go. So 30, yeah. Flag 36 is definitely doing work already. Yeah. I'm actually surprised he's got the Flag 36 and 8 phase. Don't see that ultra often in, uh, in third foul Jager day. So I believe we can only get uh, a single one per card. So it's a rather costly unit activation point rise. But definitely a rough rile considering he's fighting against the hurricanes. And damn, these, these Panzer 6s are just 
paying Dude, dividends. So bloody row. It's it's so funny how Robert had no AT nearby to try and uh, help out or no tanks because you can get like you know little crummies and stretch early on. He's moving his stretch up north down south to try and plug us in, and he's got a six pounder too. So uh, maybe he can kill the pounder L six plus it sixes. But even then, if they do die, they've already done their fair share. That is, um, that's accurate, but at the same time, they're getting enough time to get that Pack 41 Gerlich coming on in the center part of the field, right where that, uh, Falschmager is now. By the way, have you been counting Falschmagers? I think I counted four from the initial breakout, and I don't know yeah. how many more came in. I, I don't know. For, for third Falschager, like, they can order get, like, a lot of Falschagers, so it's not, like, I mean, it still kind of sucks when leave mm -hmm. Falschagers, because it's 45 bloody points for an infantry unit. It's oh, yeah. a bit of an arm and leg, but... You're not gonna run out per se. No, maybe not per se, but let's let's be fair. Uh, third Falschmager infantry is definitely substandard. I would say the further along in the game you go. Uh, yeah, it all, it all depends on how well you can. Keep it, let's say the quality drops off. Is that more fair to say? I don't know. I really uh, like I like the early Falschmagers at least. The, yeah. the, the weapons breakouts, the amount of veterans you get, and even the points. Yeah, they're expensive, but they are worth it. Yeah, they're definitely good units. But it sounded like there wasn't a whole lot of agreement there. Man, it's a harsh, harsh day <laughs> when Rangru thinks I'm an idiot. I don't uh, think you're an idiot, jeez. I'm an American, so it does come with the territory. But, um... Fosh makers to the north in the meantime, Panta up fair. Piat squad is behind enemy lines, but it's still a plus two for Caddy here. And Herr Robert is, uh... I think he's struggling. I think he's trying to find the right kind of pieces yeah. of equipment to throw together an attack. He does have that Cromwell come out the main line now. Mm -hmm. And armor is going to be, well, of course, it's going to be his main advantage. Because also, third final Jager don't really have that great AT options when it comes to ground AT units. Of course, they can get, like, the B runs, which mm -hmm. are good. But if he can, you know, rip out the Fireflies and the Shamans, they... They're, they're not B1 proof, but they can survive pretty well. Well, the amusing thing almost at this case right now is that uh, Caddy hasn't really brought in a whole lot in the last minute or so. So I feel like he is either saving up for that B1, or he's just trying to figure out where the next armor punch is going to come. He's going to throw a lot of equipment in that area. Yeah. And we can just get some more infantry or some AT to help out for Caddy. I mean, okay, yeah, he really needs the AT of that Surgeon Cromwell. I'm going to do a lot of damage, and it's rather it's a smart move, fall back at Felchager, because even though he can just completely annihilate the Strochki, the, the tanks are going to annihilate him back. I don't know if he knew they were there. Oh, oh, damn. He, yeah, the line of sights is playing in his favor just barely, but here comes a recon plane. He's going to tap the tail in. And he comes short, but he's getting in a Aligning. too close. There we go. That's one. Yeah, there we go. And AAP's keeping the Ulster back, so... And the ME-109s. There's two Hurricanes to the north, but the ME-109s, he's just going to book it out of there? No, he's just kind of hanging on out for a moment. Yeah. He wants to fight over top of that Flag 36. Very good call. Yeah. I mean, on a run-on-run, -run, the run on 9 beats a Hurricane, as mm -hmm. it just has a better mobility and speed. But, you know, when there's two hurricanes, that's, that's a bit of a problem. This is a little weird for me. If you look down to the south, Strutsky's engaged in this Falschmager before being able to be seen by the Falschmager. There we go, finally coming back the other direction here. It's always weird when that happens, though. I feel like the line of sight's a little wonky with sometimes the air with cover and infantry squads. Yeah, it's... It can be... No, I'm trying to think of words, yeah. I'm thinking maybe the recon squad up north spotted him, but that seems a little bit too far. Well, and for that matter, too, I mean, they have the... The Panzer Alpfeas have recon optics as well. Yeah. It's also because the Fauchega is considered, like, raw. They... Yeah, it has good stealth for, like... I know the Alpha has, like, a very good stealth because it's, like, a smaller... Smaller scroll, so I think that may be it. But Almost... even then, you don't want to... You don't want to piss off a Fauchega at long range. <laughs> Panzer Alpfea... <laughs> Panzer Alpfea claims another victim. Oh, that's such a good spot for the Panzer Abra. But now they know that he's there? Okay, yep, fighting over top. Yeah, that hurricane's gonna go down. Yeah, there goes That's one. one. And, yeah, there we go, he can get a second. But he's gonna run low on fuel. 
which is the entire German rule problem throughout the second rule, and here comes another hurricane. Just, just back off. Just retreat. <laughs> just retreat. They need you, my friend. They need you. Can't you see that? He's gonna. If he can kill second, that's gonna be pretty big because there's only four. Oh, they're falling back. Oh my gosh. Oh. He's not gonna yeah, get a third. He's he not gonna get the third, but he's not, no, he's so low on fuel, so he's gonna back off. But yeah, it was good. Good oh, kills, yes, Caddy. He really needed that. Because those hurricanes are just such a pain in the ass. Now, knocking both of those out really tips a favor in his uh, scale in his favor for the air power now. Now, the funny thing for me is that um, that Pack 41, the infantry pack, tossing shots downrange at that Cromwell, bounced off two of them. That's like, oh, look, yeah. there's a truck. I'm going to shoot that instead. <laughs> <laughs> really uh. freaking blow it up, giant guys. Now, add one more right strike to our gun. Yes, sir. He's got a couple of, pa of stripes already. Mm -hmm. um, a seven nation, nation army couldn't hold him back. <laughs> Flush makers to the north in the meantime. Um, that steward's not done a whole lot. In fact, he's completely has a full load of ammunition. He's not. He can't see anything. He can't do anything. And when L sixes are doing more than your light tanks, that might be when you time to, to you know potentially yeah. pack it in. It's this is this isn't going too well for her role, but Caddy definitely got that early game initiative with the Panzer L6 play. And, and where that oh my gosh, where that last truck just went down the L6, yeah. the up the Pack 41 got another one, literally yeah, in exactly this like what 20 meters apart. Yeah, that's pretty. Don't go down that road, guys. Don't ah, jeez. Where are the Sextons? That is a good point. Her robot really needs those Sextons. Is, you know, Fauchagers don't like being artillery. They do not like it one bit, and that's, that's he he really needs him to fight his Fauchagers because in in his engagement chair he's getting with, with the strokes he's just by himself. Not gonna work. Well, even when he's bringing in the steward, if you look to the north, the steward actually went down to the L6. The L6 has yeah. wheels damage, but the transmission went out on the steward, and there was this whole mess. But yeah. it's really really weird to say that the powerhouse unit has been the L6. I know, right? An Italian tank of all things. And you know, and I know I bash on the Italian tanks a fair bit, and, and yeah, very often. Reason to it. Yeah, that is true. Yeah, at the <laughs> same time, the Italians had like terrible manufacturing, so they just kind of built what they what they could. Brave bastards, though. Good yeah. God. Okay. Oh, so there's a 140 off map here. Uh, B1's going in. That's a bailout. So, yep, he's going to go after that Sherman observation. He's got some cover there, but it looks like the Kubel MG and that Pack 41 are going to go down. In, tw in, in 20 seconds, but, um, yeah. He's getting nice and close. He's going for it. Guns are blazing, and here comes the three shots. Driver knocked out. Kill? Okay. Nope. Yeah, it's going to be tough. He has... I mean, he can penetrate from the front barely, but it's still something you want to slide shot. Well, he got the Cromwell down. Mm -hmm. And he's, he's going to go make that kill for sure right now. Falschmaker's moving on in just to get that last little... Poke in the Just side. To make sure. You know why shouldn't he? Makes sense. Exactly. Here we go. I like seeing explosions. Oh, here comes a hurricane now, and the Messerschmitt's on standby, and he can he can smell. There is blood in the oh, water. There isn't there. Oh, he's gonna get it for sure. Is he? Yes, he yes, does. Yes, and that's sir. only one hurricane left alive. So. Yeah, Cadillac will now has control of the skies. As apart from, I mean, we might see some Mustangs from the pose, maybe, but highly unlikely. Maybe it's a 50-50, I'd say. But I don't know. Even then, like Cadillac will have some really city planes, and he already has a pretty good aerial advantage. So it's going going pretty well for him. It is weird to see though that down to the south, there's very little in the way of German infantry. I think it's been a a credit to that Sherman 140 off map. Yeah. Um, and finally, at long last, we're seeing a couple of Shermans coming on in. That took a long time. Yeah, he definitely needs his arm, armor out, as he he really has the armor advantage in this match. You know, the first thing he needs to do is root out these Falchagers, as that's really stopping him from moving anywhere. I mean, he keeps throwing strokes keys against Falchagers by himself, and they can kind of, like, hold and, you know, stop the Falchagers for a little bit, but he needs... He needs just a mortar, anything, just to fight back at the Final Shakers, because Brotsky is so bloody, <laughs> so bloody terrible. 
I mean, Especially against cheap. Yes. That's yes. like fifteen points. That pretty much that pretty much just me shields really. Don't tell them that, but you're you're absolutely right. Off map, the third and final off map comes on in. I wonder if this Pack 41 will be able to disable the Sherman. Probably not. It's a really tall ask. Yeah. It's going to be kind of sad, though. Um, a full map, a full squad of Falsher Makers. That goes down. That could really open up the south for the Poles. That definitely would. And that's what the Poles really need. If he can knock out his southern force. I mean, he got Stu coming in, but that's not exactly. I mean, there's no... The Cromwell's still down, so maybe that suit can actually do quite a bit of damage. But if he was to push through down south now of, like, some armoured forces and capture the bunkers, that would be a real boon mm -hmm. to uh, hire Robert's war effort. Uh, now, we do see to the north that Sherman 5 is not getting anywhere close to that front line. I mean, he's, he's starting to get there, but we have the B1 coming in. Mm -hmm. Sort of get line of sight on that Sherman. There we go. Side shots coming on in. At least, no. Oh no, they are they side or no? No, it's, it's frontal. Oh. And as you can see, does but quite a bit of damage. That Sherman's definitely been uh, ruffled around a wee bit. But the B1 falls back, and uh, he's going to try again next time. Indeed, he does. A second self-propelled mortar coming on in. Again, not yeah, sure of that choice. It's just, it's, please get a sex on her, Robert. I mean, it kind of makes sense for the normal thing, because it's a little bit more forestry. You can kind of work around the short range of the mortar, but still, you, know, you just you get sections. Okay, I would love if the Sherman retreats back through this false Jaeger so he can just use a Faust. <laughs> he could get a crazy line of sight shot here. Oh my gosh. Oh no, he, okay, he could have gotten it, but he probably would have killed it, given his life for the fatherland to do it. And Foschmagers are starting to take some losses here. Down to the south, all we have is that, that Stu-42. Mm -hmm. And some really, really abused infantry on the Polish yeah. side. I think it's really going to come down. I think, really, for her, Robert, he needs to play, make a play down south and just do, like, an armored force push. I mean, he's really just been seeing search. Okay, yeah, I hope he has some Dragoonies in there. Dragoonies in his deck. Even though not as great as, like, guard armored motorized rifles, mm -hmm. it's still, you know, useful to have. But they're, they're great for, like, uh, actual armored purses. They're, they're kind of bloody half tracks. You know, you're saying... Slowly grinding away. You were saying the Dragoonies, and I was thinking to myself, oh my gosh, it's the Polish version of trying to find One-Eyed Willy. I know, right? I, that's what I thought when I said first. <laughs> Even I don't know what I'm saying, come. Oh, man, it's been oh, a rough week for both of us. <laughs> look at the Panzero 6 up north. Look at him go! Look at him stop, there's a Sherman coming. <laughs> he, he can like maybe duke around and no, he's, know, oh my get gosh. a side shot. Oh That'd my gosh. Cool. I doubt it, but I'm, that'd I'm, be cool. I'm pulling up the, <laughs> the, the the stats just to see how this goes. Okay, so Sherman has like what six back armor and he's turning yeah. around, he knows he's yeah. Is okay, he time to driving? retreat. Come to, time to retreat, my nope, friend. Nope, he's just gonna drive straight into the Sherman, but Sherman's turning. Oh, he's yep, he can't, he can't get the turn online fast <laughs> enough. <laughs> Why can't you pre-rotate the turret? Uh. <laughs> oh, man. I could have gone a bit past up, but... Uh. I mean, well, that giant cannon coming out of the front of that Henkel, the 129, though, is just not seeing the same kind of success it did the first time. No, if you really need to get slow shots on the to the kill him with the B1. It Ooh. is all down to side shots. Ooh, okay, well... Hold your fire! Hit the tank! Oh, no, he went after the infantry. Alright, I guess I guess that works, sort of, because there's enough... Eh. I think as the Panza up fail, I would have preferred to go after the tank. But I guess I can understand him shooting, you know. But, wow, suddenly there's nothing over here for the German hordes. Indeed, it's... All the infantry on the map barely adds up to a couple of full-strength squads. Yeah, he's he's slowly been beaten back now as her robots finally got some fire support online. And in a straight-up fight, and third pouch Jager doesn't do too great. I mean, the problem is, like, the lack of aid. I mean, he got, like, pack 40, he's got some flak 88, but it's not, like, a great amount of AT. And his B1s have just not been cutting it. He, needs, he really needs to kill the Sherman with the B1s, and that would definitely help his push, but 
Those Shermans are still alive, and they have lots of machine guns. Yes, they do. Yes, they do. Stug and Stu down to the south. Excuse me. Um, is that a second? No, okay, I thought, I thought maybe we were going to see another V1 coming on in. No, never mind. All right, L6, it's time for you to retreat, my friend. Yeah. Or Flash Mega Furious, get in there and start tossing those grenades. Oh, oh are, they, are they going for the softball move? Oh, is Go that for... close enough? I not think not yet. No. The, Sherman, the Sherman's getting close, though. They have to come out of the forests. You'd have to come out of the forest, so... He does have... No, he doesn't have smoke. That's a shame. That is a shame. And here comes some infantry into that forest. So that foul take a few uh, will be spotted. If he doesn't get a shot off himself. Yep. Those your grenades! Nope, never mind. Alright. Fine. And the Strutsky, despite being horrible, will be able to fight back, I would say, three German guys. Three to one advantage or do Maybe. decently well. <laughs> Maybe. I mean, they do have a brain gun. Yeah, and the, but the Flash Mega Fury only has a couple of FG, you know, 42s and those two MP40s. So I would not expect much. But 50 Ward 49, actually 50 50 now, 18 10 to 0. If we were only a couple points higher, I'd be celebrating the Battle of New Orleans over here, but um, I do not think that's going to happen. The poles are breaking through to the north. Yep, indeed, there's only one Shrek squad. I think it's going to be a very opportunistic kill on this mortar. I prefer the Battle of Detroit, to be honest. Of course you would prefer the Battle of Detroit. <laughs> battle. Yeah, let's put that in... If, if, we, we can put that in quotes all you want to, but... Uh, oh, the Panzer Strike, yeah, I see what you mean. Oh, God. That would be a good... Almost as good as the Piat. Piat's going to get shot. Oh, never mind. I thought it was going to be Piat's squad in this house going to get shot, but nope. nope. He went down, as is his way, and here comes the I want to make sure you get stressed move. Mm -hmm. Wait, is there two B1s? No, okay, no, we have a rocket. Plane coming on in, damaged, transmission damaged. There we go. There we go. That's what he needed. That's definitely what he needed. That's part of what he needed. Yeah. I mean, right now we have the Stu and the Strug that are behind enemy lines, and neither one of them know where that last little rinky-dink, you know, infantry squad is. Yeah. And... They definitely want to reconnect the lines, because they're taking... I mean, if you have an infantry, any unit that's not a paratrooper unit, behind enemy lines like this, they take a... like, substantial morale penalty. Yeah, I think it's between 50 and 75 percent. I forget the number off yeah. the top of my head. Like, it gets suppressed much easier, I believe, is the, uh... Oh, look at that! Look oh, at that! Okay. How thin that is! There we go. All oh, right. God. Just a tip. Just to see how it feels. Yeah. <laughs> or ouch, ouch, you're on my hair. Um, and there we go. There goes one or two percent right there, which means that we're probably going to be losing that plus one for the poles fairly soon. Mm -hmm. Oh, never mind. The bulge has happened in the north. And the poles are really going to need like. A plus three at this point if they want to take a victory because Cadillac was down by a lot, or Cadillac was above in a lot of points. So he's down. I was like, okay, I, maybe I on just... opposite day. <laughs> maybe on opposite. <laughs> Wouldn't it be really crazy if today was actually opposite day? How would you know? Exactly. That's so. <laughs> you would never know if it's opposite day. Uh, except for that one guy who always be like, it's opposite day. You're like, no, bro, it's not. No, bro. Um, on the whole thing. Panzer Shrek behind enemy lines gonna go up against that um, oh. two men's worth. No, nope, never mind. Nope. He he decides to call it quits and just kind of yeah. taps out. Understandable though, if you think about it. Yeah. Now, um, I said before about the Germans really dropping off in terms of infantry quality. Yes, I see the two stars and everything like that. But let's think about it. How much do they have? A a a, a decent amount. Where where is it then? It's expensive. It takes a while to bring out. It's it's like you also you also have like the um like the pioneers and stern pioneer found you could do to which you haven't actually seen with the realms of Chronies and he's just for a lot of regular Fauchega. He's really he's really taking that Fauchega. Self propelled eight AA is down. That's a good kill. <clears throat> yes, it is, and that's the last hurricane here. Yeah. I don't think the B1's gonna go down. I mean, while that hurricane, I don't think it's long for this world. Nope. Almost got him on the deflection shot. 
Oh, no, he's... Oh, wow, he makes it out alive. Wow, everyone's just running away. Yeah, the only one who died was that AA gun. Mm -hmm. That's a good kill. There we yes, go. Uh, let's make up north now. I think it's going to go for the Staghound. Yeah, a good suppressive hit. Mm -hmm. And, oh, not enough to completely suppress, but did a bit of damage. Yes, he did. Meanwhile, Foster is moving closer and closer to that Strutzy. That's not quite behind enemy lines, but I kind of feel like it's like watching a baby I being know. stalked by a tiger. <laughs> Yeah, do 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 do. I'm in nice and close on this in this infantry yeah. fight. Yep, yeah. and it's this stroke key. So even if Outtake is a pretty terrible on CQC, stroke keys are even terrible if that's a turn. Yep, there goes a couple of them already. Oh yes, I'm picking a very close and in fight here. Um, I wish I could had a debug camera on right about now because this force cover is destroying me. But all right. <laughs> I don't get how that happened. I do not understand. I do not understand. We're pinned down. Okay, we surrender. It's like one of those things you're down to the last like three rounds of ammunition and the other guy's like, okay, you know what, you know what, I, I give. That's fine. We're suppressing them, sir. We just took one mortar. We need to give up. Traitors to the cause. Oh, God. Oh, God. How bloody anticlimactic that was. How depressing was that? I was I was watching that entire thing, man. <laughs> Stu in the meantime takes one shot and blows oh, up blows up. Um Stu is still down there, but mm -hmm. against a Sherman, I would not relish his chances. Yeah, I it's not 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 good, yeah, for the Stu. But we are getting deeper and deeper past that C phase. L six to the north still exists. I'm gonna capture Kubelwagen. Take it back. You must so. get in there. Well, the pack 14 middle, he got a shot on Sherman, but he completely missed it. But the second shot hits, even though he had really high morale damage. So, guess, he, guess, guess, yeah, I guess. He shot the Sherman, but he did not shoot the Cromwell tank. Um, you know, I, I'm not quite my day job just yet, but it kind of occurred to me. I don't know why. It wasn't until just now. We need to start, like, a Steel Division, like, cover band. You know what? There was a league cover band for a while. I figured we could probably do it. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I remember hits such as servers down and. <laughs> oh my gosh, I can't even think of some of the other ones. So this is go goes back several years. We could do it, man. Totally could. Yeah. You have a sexy kind of exotic appeal. I have the the weird kind of vibe. It works. It works. Like you know, American and Britain coming together. Yeah, yeah, just think about it. We could be, we could be a sign of unity in these dark times politically. Exactly, like, you could, you could be, like, the country, American thing, uh, both wars goes down to the measurement with a name. Indeed. Mm -hmm. While, uh, while Whoa! Like the, whoa! B1 takes out the Cromwell! Lovely shot there from the B1, that's pretty good. But in these uncertain times, this is the kind of action we want to be seeing here. ME109 starts going after that 25-pounder, who's been doing a hell of a lot of annoyance. Yeah. And the B1 coming down for another kill? No, he doesn't get it, but he's been pinning down the 6-pounder and forces back the Sherman with an <laughs> internal fire. Dude, Caddy Lackle, I mean, he has complete uh, supremacy at his point. He's also a sea face, so he has, like, a crap ton of points. So he's just ripping out the airplanes, even though he doesn't... You know, control as much territory as he, as he did, and he's still, like, losing by a plus one. Does the airplane do to really stop any push from her orbit, I think? And then something like a Sherman or Cromwell pops up. Here comes the mighty B1. Crack, crack. That's the kind of funny thing. We were seeing this actually on Tuesday with the JU-188, so the gross Paris division. Um, I always kind of dismiss it as being, you know, incidental fire. No, that stuff is a ton a morale damage, and yep, we have pack idiots coming out too. Oh yeah, you two definitely of them. Need them. Yep, was he placing them? One to the center, one to the south. Both in really good positions, I would say. Mm -hmm. Covers that arterial in the south and in the north. Not as big a fan as that one. I would prefer moving forward to maybe even that orchard, but uh, eh. yeah, yeah, I see. Yeah, six of one, half a dozen of another, perhaps. Fosh make it behind enemy lines. I think the Kubelwagen ended up going down. No, it didn't. That traitor, he's reloading that 107. 
It's pretty convenient they have four point turrets mortars in that Cooper pack. Well, I, I'm trying to think about this for a second. Mo most munitions were oddly standardized. Yeah, too. I, I know a funny thing is, um, I don't know if it was a coder or some nonsense. Like the American mortars, like it's something like some mortar is like 80 millimeters or 81 millimeters. Uh -huh. So the Russians made their mortars 82 millimeters so they can shoot like the American mortars. <laughs> but the Americans can't use the Russian mortars if they ever be captured. Just like type of the small little petty stuff is always pretty funny. And you think to yourself, these people are running countries. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Oh man, oh uh, that B that B one man, he's gotten several kills. Oh, here comes the Mustang. He does have Mustang. Here comes the one oh nines. Yeah. And son, the Mustang realizes yeah he's got a better place to be. Yeah. Good thing about the Mustang, it can do hit and runs like that, as it is incredibly fast. So he he knows when to call it crit, and now it's a good time to call it crit. In the meantime, 109, he sees the mortar and he says, you know what? Time to rocket into oblivion. Mm -hmm. You know what? Just shoot the Krom, uh, excuse me, the Kubelwagen. But he will not. He wants to go after the mortar. He wants to give the Kubelwagen another lease at life. Yep. Panzer, uh, Panzer Strike squad down south. The Abra getting shot from the Sherman. Really gets a kill? Yes, he yes, does. Yes, he does. Oh, jeez, Larise. That's, that's a pretty big kill. And really good use of the uh, Panzer Strikes this match with Caddy. I mean, using, using Panzer Strike squads like this is extremely important for that foul cheater. Is it, they're really like the most reliable AT option for your ground game. And on an open map like this, especially in an open area, good Panzer Strike play. Well, um, the thing I think I'm, I'm trying to figure out in my head is mm -hmm. if all of those, not the Mustangs, if all the Hurricanes didn't go down so early, would this have been a different game? Yeah, if the Hurricane Tati managed to gain a bit of air superiority by shooting down some Messerschmitt, I think it definitely would have been much more of a pool of steamroll. As it's really just the airplanes that are keeping Caddy in the game at the moment. As they're knocking out all the MVP targets. Well, that, that, that's kind of why I'm asking. So if, even, even if they don't trade out and take the Messerschmitts down, yeah. they've been causing so much morale damage, strafing constantly. I mean, geez. B1 comes right back in? Nope, never mind, it's the rocket plane, but still. Yeah. Just really good use of air power, and I love how Cadillac calls using the rocket planes. Is the rocket planes are so good, Khan. And as we can see, they're so bloody powerful when yep. it's correctly. Yep, and, and that guy just came in, yeah. too. Yep, and it's a two-minute reload, so he's going to be back in in two minutes to say hello. Well, he's a, he's a very friendly guy. He wants to spread yeah. the love around. Spread the love, spread the rockets. Ugh. <sighs> It's rocket science. Oh, he's a rocket man. Yeah. Um, but no, indeed we have a three to one ticket advantage here from favor of Caddy over uh, Robert. Mm -hmm. And I think, like you said already, the fact that he's just hitting not so much the MVP targets, but the non-foot targets, I think, is the major thing. Yeah. If you're thinking about it, a lot of those foot targets, we we complain about this all the time. Infantry divisions don't go anywhere fast. They don't. But uh, the Poles, the Poles are kind of like that weird, kind of hybrid, mechanized division, I would say, anyway. Um, and, and frankly, looking at them, you remove the Sherman, you remove even the self-propelled AA, and uh, yeah, it ain't pretty. Yeah, it's really, really her robot just hasn't managed to control the AA at rail. And honestly, I think you need to do something else apart from Strouchki, as, as Strouchki's spam can be a pretty viable tactic for posts, and you see it quite a lot. So you just you just got Sprout keys, you spam everywhere. But having the, the uh, pioneer dudes, the Saparazis and Dragoonies, mm -hmm. is still like something you'd want to have at least just a little bit. Because I have good news real quick. I'm sorry to interrupt. Oh. The Kubelwagen is back in German hands. Mason accomplished. Indeed. Now we might see that one of the 109s go down at the end here, but oh. doesn't look like it. He makes it out. Makes it out and. There's a, there's a hurricane here, but never mind, that's going to be a surrender, and mm -hmm. uh, yeah, here we go. And damn, look yeah. at the Jesus Christ, Caddy. Now, first things first, let's be fair. There is a little bit of, um, I would say, value disparity. Third Falschmager, it is a lot of infantry units. But at the same time, he didn't lose a single airplane. And honestly, look at the first five minutes of the game. 
Oh, damn. That's a lot of strat keys. Dead. That's, yeah. That's a lot of dead stuff. And, like, he loses, like, an L6 and Fauci Gafura and an Avra in the entirety of A phase while losing his Hurricanes and. Damn. That's I, like I didn't think it was. Perspective. I didn't think it was that insane. No, same. That was. That's a nutty. I mean, at the same time, Strachey's like 15 points. I only had to die. But uh, still, that's pretty good. And looking through the rest, yeah, it's. Jeez, from 29 to about 33 minutes is absurd. Yeah. Yeah, that's. That's a lot of dead pose. It's a little sad when the off map Artie is one of your MVPs. <laughs> Let me take a look. <laughs> and this is 140 mil, too. Oh god, that is pretty. That's pretty sad from a, a orbit standpoint. He just he just really needed to like do like an armored person at seven sector when he had the opportunity to and just try to just puncture through, capture a lot of ground, and then you know just keep moving essentially. Because you can do that, but he 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 just handed the Strochi spam. Really good of you, Sexons, to be honest. Earlier on, uh, yeah, the Sexons can't get killed by. If if you're smart, they won't get killed. And um, yeah, but yo, Caddy Lackle did fantastic job with his inner power and the Pandora Six play at the start and uses Fauchegas really well. And all his units have a lot of kills. Like going through the losses section, like ev everyone's really like got their, now got their rack in for him. Even though there's a lot of distraught keys and stuff, but still, that's that's a lot of dead. Dead pose. Certainly does seem that way. So, um, yep. Caddy Lacour takes the pole position. Herr Robert <laughs> drops down to number two in this particular game. And um, that, that pretty much brings our coverage for this week to a close, doesn't it, Ryan? Yes, it does. All right, folks. We'll see you in a few days with some more games. For right now, though, I'm Conor Work. I'm Rangaroo. Take it easy.